Oh, hooray, yet another fair use video. When do I ever fucking make these? Oh, wait, about every other fucking month. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is going to be last one because, you know, fair use is pre misunderstood for some stupid reason, and so many people rely on it, but the law itself is so vague. Just like the new terms and conditions of YouTube! No, but, anyway. <laughs> I, I can't make a serious video without a single joke, I swear. Hello, Jasper. Are you trying to slap me? Anyway, let's get on with it. Also, this is the only one which I could find. The benefit to user, that's irrelevant. It does affect the sentence if it is... It breaking it, but you know, nothing to do with fair use itself. It's the other stuff. So first, small portion of original material used. How much constitutes as a small amount? Like, seriously, how much is small? Is it 50%? Is it 10%? Is it just the audio? Just the video, certain segment of video, certain segment of audio, what ratio, or how much is a set time? Like, how how does it actually proportion? Uh, yeah, I have looked at the stuff. This is the only actual image, image form. Hooray. Commercial value of original is not diminished. We'll get to that. Last. Alright. New work is critique, satire, or education. I could tell someone that I could be, I could take the leafy route and tell them that they should drink bleach. That's still critiquing them, like you're so bad you should fucking die. It's not constructive criticism, but it's fucking criticism all the same. Or satire, or, you know, just general piss-taking. Yeah. Does... Like, you know, does it have to actually be funny? Does it... Like, ha to what extent is the satire, and what kind of satire? Like, does Paddy count? Well, I think it does specify Paddy inside the actual... Thing. It's just right here. It this very commonly used thing with the extra thing which doesn't contribute anything. Yeah. And also, if this is the main thing which people tend to use aside from the actual legal document, that's slightly worrying because it has an extra thing that isn't actually inside doc the documentation. Anyway, new work is predominant is predominantly original. Alright. Again, how much is predominantly? Is it 50%? Is it all of the audio? Is it all of the visuals? Is it... Like, what, what constitutes as predominantly? Would it be... Uh, I know, let's say a fucking song cover. You take all of the lyrics of the original song, you take the beat and that, but you do all of the work in order to convert it over to a fucking piano tune. Would that be... Would that be pre predominantly your own? All of the writing has been done for you and that, all of the preparation, but the work itself is entirely new. It's just using the blueprints of something else. Would that count? And then, of course, commercial value of the original is not diminished. Alright. So, technically, a negative review breaks fair use. Like, think about it. A negative review makes... Makes people say, maybe I shouldn't buy this because it's a bad product. And because that person didn't buy it because of the reviews saying that it's bad, they're not going to waste their money on it, diminishing the 
value of it because it got less sales. By this logic, reviews break more fair use than ASM2R or the just another Metroid 2 remake, whatever. Even though that's like the only one. Yeah. These are so fucking vague. And this is pretty much the only thing. Oh yeah, and also education. Like, what constitutes as education? Telling someone, hey, this is a current event. Is Does that count as education? Or does a makeup tutorial count as fucking education? Like, it... In none of these do they actually specify and in the actual law itself it just uses these things. That just affects, that's just mainly a misconception like some people think that oh if it's, if I'm not making money of it it's fine. No, it's not. It does affect the punishment if you're found guilty of copyright infringement. But, it doesn't affect whether or not it is fair use, so. And also, if that is the case, then YouTube reviewers would, would be breaking fair use. Because, well, they're making money off the ad revenue of their commercial reviews. Which mostly use footage of the original thing. So, of course, fair use is so fucking vague. It's as vague as the YouTube terms of service. Like, you're not allowed to swear or else we won't monetize it. Alright, what words are fucking swear words? Anyway. So, of course, this is fair dealings. The one which... A more... Basically, the UK fair use, it's pretty much more specific and more lenient. Such as, with teaching, you're allowed to, you're allowed to, to use as much as you need to, to show the point. You don't even need to add anything new, just as long as you aren't doing it commercially, making money off it and that. You can do it mostly. This is pretty much the only thing saving my ass from the fucking Proto Mario from the Danger Dolan fuck up. The some call me Johnny stupid criticism and the Proto Mario hypocrisy things. This is pretty much the only thing saving me from that. There's helping disabled people, which allows you to pretty much create a dub or a sub for people to to read or hear. Like, you know, make a version which someone who has a, who is blind, like, narrate everything that's going on, like it's a fucking episode of Thomas the Tank Engine. And then, parody and that, yeah. And then fair dealing, yeah. There is something in here saying about the amount, like you can use as much as you need to to convey what you're trying to say. But just looking at this in general, you can tell that it is a lot more specific than just fair use. Like, hell, the teaching alone is is longer than the actual fair use law that the Americas has. And of course, because YouTube is inside the United States, they go by fair use, and also the laws which allow them to negate freedom of speech. Look into it, private property, random shit like that. It's pretty much just quite stupid, honestly. And look, it's done as soon as 2014, so if there's anything that's up to date, it's this. But, you know, enough about being patriotic. The main thing is fair use is just so fucking vague, vague it might as well be you.